My name is Harold Buddy Hansen. There's no sadder tale than the death of myself and my four siblings. Lorraine, age 13. Myself, age 11. Hazel, age 4. Lorraine, age 3. And my younger brother, Milo, age 1. It was an early morning in January, and the year was 1919. It was cold outside, just like any other January morning. That was the morning my mother snapped. She was afraid that we would all come down with influenza and we would all die. So she decided that she was going to save us from our suffering and kill us. She came into my room first and shot me twice, once through the heart and once through the temple. Seeing that I wasn't quite dead yet, she shot me again through the forehead. Then she went to my sister Dorothy's room, then Hazel's, then Lorraine, shooting them both twice, once through the heart and once through the temple. After that, she went into my younger brother Milo's room and shot him three times, once through the heart, once through the temple, and once through the forehead. Then, seeing that he, he wasn't quite dead yet, he went, she went and laid in the bed with him until he was passing away. Then there was my father. He was working just like he did every morning, and he woke up at 6 a.m. and went and turned on the power for the entire city of Sherman. He then went and came home about 6.20, but this morning was different. He was stopped on his way home and stopped by a friend of his who had lost his daughter during the night to scarlet fever. He consoled his friend and then continued on. He then he was stopped again by another friend who needed help getting to Jasper for medical needs. Then he went and arranged for him to be taken to Jasper, but said that he couldn't do it himself because he needed to return home. He had no idea that what had gone on in his house. When he returned home, he walked into his youngest son Milo's room because he could hear his crying. He was greeted by his one-year-old son with a smile. But his son was completely drenched in blood while his mother laid with him. He immediately ran out of the room and returned with the help of the neighbors. Once he came back, Milo had passed away, and my mother lied in the bed in tears. She pleaded guilty to a court in Minnesota and was sentenced to the insane asylum in Yankton, South Dakota. She then... ...who we never heard more about. Once she was released, she moved to six to California with her child where possible relatives lived. She then, we never heard from her again. And then last year in 2011, a woman came here to the Maplewood Cemetery from California asking where these five graves were. Could this be the sixth Hanson child? You decide. Thank you.